Can you hear music? You can't hear no music? Huh. Anyway. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. We're the Tool Farts. I'm Chuck. And I'm waiting on the better looking of the Tool Farts. No, he's going to succeed. Concede. He's not, people. Yes, I am. They're, they're just sweet to old people. Ask him. They're just nice to old people. Yeah. So happy Sunday, everybody. Guess where we've been? Uh, we went to the Mad Pecker for, yeah, for lunch. Had lunch. That was a good one, huh? It was a very good lunch. Got your mom out of the house? Yes, we did. Yeah. I think she's enjoying herself. I think so, too. And she look at her, and she's laughing, talking to Brenda. You know, she's having a good time. Yep, and we had far too many hors d'oeuvres. We had <laughs> fried cheese, fried mushrooms, and the... Something poppers. Uh, hush pop. Hush pop. That's pretty good. They it's were. like a hush puppy. Fried like a hush puppy, but... But a jalapeno popper. Yep. A little, little spicy. And then we had a ham... A jalapeno yeah, sandwich. sandwich. That was really good. Freshly sliced jalapenos. Nice, good, cold beer. And then my mom had uh, french fries with... Uh, they, were, they were messy french fries. They had everything on it. All the gravy on it. They like had that. everything. And Brenda had... Uh, she had fish. Fried fish. Fish. Yeah. fish and chips. Good place to go. If you want to go someplace, get some good food. And... If you're here in San Antonio. Yes. But speaking of San Antonio, we're kind of modifying the podcast, aren't we? Yeah, we are. We're going to talk about something a little different, right? Well, we're not just going to be talking about us being it's out and about. Us. Yeah, we're going to we're going to try to share some stories and some other stuff. What, what what's all on here? We got. Oh man. So I sent him a link on some podcast topics that we should try, like talk about your favorite topic. Share your trials and errors. Share small town news. He said, she said. Talk about one horrible boss or job. Give a peek behind the scenes of influencers. Well, we don't have any of that right now. Hypothetically speaking, anything seen on TV, narrate yourself doing something. Offer a quote of the day. Look back at past events or topics. Talk about creating your show. Interview regular people. That's something we should probably start to do. Yeah. Try to find some people to interview. Maybe if we had more listeners to our podcast. We could interview them. Well, yeah. Well, I, 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 I mean, there's some folks in there you want to interview. Some just good old country folks. Maybe. Yeah. I was also thinking about my friend Jay, who's got a webpage, uh, Alamo True Metal. He writes and takes photographs of a lot of the concerts that are here in town. He might be a good person to interview. That would be interesting. It would be very I'm, interesting. I'm sure he uh, sees a lot of interesting. He's, he's seen and met a lot of interesting rock bands that have come <laughs> here to town. No country, huh? No, no country. Oh, we have to educate him. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. But, Podcast on the road. We should probably try to do that sometime. Podcast on what? On the road. Oh, yeah. Take it on the road. Yeah, there's a lot of questions about San Antonio and out in the hill country to go see. Yeah, yeah. So so which we need to hit. We need to hit the road again. And start doing some stuff now. Yeah, the weather's, the weather's cool nice. Off. Enjoy yourself a little bit before it gets cold. In San Antonio, it's thirty degrees cold. That's really cold in San Antonio. So hey, I see you got some sticky notes yeah. over here, old man. I was talking about this, uh, first thing on the list. Talk about your favorite time. Alabama football. No, actually, it's not sports. Okay, but it's that's close. Sports. Okay. High school sports. Okay. The league. Little college. Uh, some of the things we did growing up. Some of the things you did growing up. Did you guys have electricity when you were growing up? Towards the end of our lives. When I first, no, we did. We had lanterns, old lanterns. Are you serious? Kerosene. Are you serious? I'm serious. He's not lying, people. Yeah. He's not lying. I remember our first fan, window fan. In my mom's room, in my dad's room. Really? Yeah. We just opened the windows. We didn't even lock the doors when we left. We just left the screen doors. Yeah. Was there anything to steal, though? No. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Our nearest neighbor was five miles away. We had to worry about that. Country road. You get out on the road. You're going kind of slow. You just pull off the side. On the gravel side. Because it's all gravel. But that's where it was. 
Nobody ever had that either. <laughs> then a seal, big metropolis of seal, I think at one time there was like a thousand people. That's, now, a lot of, that's a lot of people. Now it's like four or five thousand people. I think. But there's that many people? Because it's unincorporated. I can't hold on for support building and all that kind of stuff. Well, Fort Benning's not sealed, though. And that's in Georgia. But Yours that's is that is only about 10 miles, so. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, so. What else you got on your notes? Well, I, I talked about Shivala uh, High School. It's called Russell County High School now. Played a little basketball. Not very good at it. Played a little football. Played a little baseball. Had a little... Uh, Semi-pro baseball, played with the Hershberg Foxes. You did? Summer. Yeah. With Frank Hendricks and, and the guys. We uh, had a lot of fun. Did you play any football in college? Uh, I was going to. Actually, I had an offer to go to Auburn. Really? To a friend of mine, like his girlfriend, and stuff like that. I was never entertained in you know, Auburn, Alabama, or anything. But I did go to uh, Troy. University of Troy State then, and I went to Jacksonville, actually for a football scholarship. I went over there, and 130 pounds, playing center, and linebacker, and that boy was about 175 or 80, 90 pounds, and said, come to me. So, I went to Troy State for one semester, and dropped out. Joined the Air Force. Joined the Air Force. So, he can't go back home. <laughs> And my dad borrowed the money for me to go to school on. If I go back home, I don't mind. He was going to tan your backside. He was going to paint the back porch red, wasn't he? Let me tell you this funny story about Troy. Take it apart class. This lady holds up a rock. He said, draw me a potato. I said, no, that's a rock. He said, no, it's a potato. I said, no, it's a rock. So I took that second class. So what shortly after that outside? Why would she hold up a rock and ask you to paint, paint a potato? She wants to draw a picture of a potato. Then why would she show you a rock? Her head, this looks like a potato. Was she smoking weed? Yeah, she was smoking something. Because this old boy didn't know what a rock was. That's, That's a rock. rock to me. I'm going to draw a potato if that looks like a potato. I don't know. We had a lot of fun. We had a lot of things. We joined the Air Force. We took you fan. What did we watch over there? Watch sumo you play, wrestling. Watch you play some football. But we also watched some sumo, sumo wrestling. wrestling. Yeah. Went down to Tokyo. Watched some sumo matches. Yeah. Uh, watched you play football. We had two teams. The yeah. Chiefs and the Dolphins. Dolphins. And the Dolphins, we won the Super Bowl. Yeah, we won the championship. And you know what was amazing about that? Watching you play, and you're such a better cheerleader for the team. But who was the coach at the Miami Dolphins? Don Shula. Don Shula. And you wrote a letter to him. I did. And what did he send you? He sent me a whole bunch of stuff. What did he send you? He sent some pictures. He sent some shirts and stuff like that. And we gave all that stuff out to you, all the places. Didn't he send you some stickers, too? Yes, he did. And weren't those put on our helmets? Helmets and stuff like that. So, yeah, it was one of those things that, hey, what's your about the Dolphins? See, I never in my life didn't think he would send anything to us. He did. Trying to real Real quick, Don Shula is one of my favorite people. He's, he was a good coach. Yes, he was. More importantly, when we had our banquet at the end of the year, and we did that. We gave all those stuff out to the different players and stuff like that, and, and to see the expression on their face, and that's what it's all about. But you see him smiling, people. I'm sitting over here remembering him <laughs> as the coach. Not this smiling, sweet, <laughs> grandfatherly figure that you see here today. But we won. We were undefeated, right? You were a mean son of a bitch. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. Just coaching. You were mean to me. You know, that's that's like I'm watching my great niece play softball right now. She's 12, 11 or 12. I can't remember now. Aubrey. Her mom. You never started me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I never started a game. Are you sure? I'm positive. Must have been never, never started. That's good for you. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Because guess what happens when I went to Robert Georgia? I, I played football. I played football. And what did the coach have you doing? Played nose guard on defense. Why? 
I don't know. Because you can separate it. I don't know. Get in and make some tackles. I could, but man, those guys were big. Yeah, but you still got in there because you were tough. And you got to play the game. And it goes back to what? This little girl had the last thing she can't do. That's on the Braves team. She's a pitcher. Good technique. But the father always sits on the front row right down below me on the first seat. He's coaching her. I'm trying to want something to lighten up. But then I remember back. I was going to say. I was going to say, hello, right. pot, meat, kettle. Yeah. But you know what? What? He tells her what to do. And uh, What are you doing? I'm getting hung up over here. So anyway, he's calling pitches for her. Like one, two, three, and four, and stuff like that. And he's coaching her. And sometimes he gets on the case pretty good. But that little girl is good. She has a, She's going to play some softball somewhere. I hope so. And, uh, but see the team. One of my favorite girls on that team, this little girl, she walks up to the plate. She doesn't get in a hurry at all. She's going to take her time. She's going to put that bat behind her back, put arms around her. She's going to stretch a little bit. And she's going to put that front foot in right almost at the corner of the Marcus for the home plate. And that back foot is going to be almost out of the batter's box. She doesn't hit very often, but when she does, she's going to hit the ball pretty good. But she, she don't get excited. She just <laughs> it's, it's fun watching those kids. That's one of the things I like. I enjoy it. Like, you can translate that into the cottage world. And stuff. I like the Little League World Series, the baseball Little League. I know you do. One of my dreams is one day to go to Williamsport. Okay. I like seeing Williamsport, a lot of history in Williamsport. One day I like to go to Oklahoma City. Wow, I've been there. There ain't nothing there. World Series. The College World Series? College World Series. Is in Nebraska. No, baseball. The softball is in Oklahoma City. The World Series baseball is in Nebraska. Been there. Okay. Didn't realize the importance of it when I was there, but I saw a few games there at Roosevelt Stadium. It's closed now. They have a new stadium. Those are the kind of things I like. How about you? What do you like? I like going to concerts. I like going to uh, football games, Alabama football games predominantly. Uh, that's For sports, that's about it. But mostly I like going to concerts. Uh, I need to start practicing my bass a little bit more. My fingers are starting to get a little uh, tender from not, from not playing so much. I need to come over and coach you. And those fingers wouldn't get soft. Do you know how to play bass? No, but I can teach you. Okay. I teach you how not, but those strings get soft. All right. I'd be on your ass. Do you know why a bass has four strings, Dad? Only four. But do you know why it has four no. strings? In case one breaks, you got three left. You got three left. That's <laughs> right. All, right. All the bass players out there will get the joke because you typically only play one string at a time on a bass. But you like your concerts. I do like my concerts. And I like watching the pictures that you post. And... Yeah, believe it or not, I didn't have a concert last week. I've got two coming up this week. What are you going to see this week? This week I'm going to see Black Flag on Thursday. And then I'm going that's, to see... That's a spray thing for bugs, right? That is. But they're also a punk band from the 70s and 80s. Okay. Yeah. And then Saturday I'm going to go see Trivium. And we've got a concert coming up. Uh, in two... What's his name? Uh, Crockett? Charlie Crockett, I Charlie think. Charlie Crockett, yeah. Let me see. Let me look at my calendar. This is November. Yeah, it's in November. I think 17th, 18th. Oh, no, it's next Saturday. No, I've got one this Saturday. November 5th. It's Trivium. Okay, so it's the 12th. And then the week after, I've got three concerts that week. The week after, I've got Hate Breed on Tuesday, Belinda Carlisle on Thursday, and on Saturday... It's Charlie Crockett yeah. at Floors. Who in the car is she? She's a singer from the Go Go's. Okay. The, the late 70s, early 80s so punk she, rock band. Is she related back to the country group, the Carlisles? You know? I don't think so, Dad. Well, I don't know. You never know. I don't think so. Kids would be different from their parents. They Especially do. This. They do. Sometimes not. <laughs> but sometimes, yes. So, what else do you got? Man, I'm not prepared. 
I didn't take any notes. I, let me see what else you got. You got football. Oh, and how about your granddaughter's playing soccer? You got two playing soccer. Yep, sure Isabel. Do. Mm-hmm. And then little Hannah. Yep. Well, she is a card, huh? Yes, Hannah is. She's a character. And then you got Lydia, who does Girl Scouts. Yep. And a beautiful picture that uh, they showed of her of the uh, pillow that she sewed. Yep, sure did. Very nice. But watching Hannah play soccer, I mean soccer. Yep. <laughs> little girl. <laughs> she's. Yep. She's she something. She's about the old block. She's yep. going to do what she wants to do when she gets ready. Absolutely. You give her a little snack, and she'll run out there and play. And you got Little League, Yakota, Chiefs, Dolphins. Then, Team, uh, you missed T-ball. That's one thing. I stink. I stunk on ice at baseball, man. I could not. You know what? Of all the sports, that's the one that's most memorable to me of the T-ball team. We only won one ball game. We did? We won one ball game. And the only reason we won that is the other thing forfeited? Forfeited, and we were ahead when it forfeited because of rain. Why do we stink so bad? Well, probably because I didn't know how to coach baseball. <laughs> you know, but uh, then I used to go watch one of your other cousins, Tristan. Yeah, he, yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. son playing football over at Burbank High School. Mm-hmm. That was, those were good times. And uh, we used to bring them some water burgers. We used to go over a couple times, treat them with water burgers after the game and stuff. So that's one of the things I like. I enjoy sports. Yeah. I don't care too much for the place of sports. I watch a little bit. Yeah, but, uh, we need to plan on going to an Alabama football game next year. We are. I don't know which one yet, but we're going to go. we got to find a place to stay. we got a place to stay. Where? We can stay with the other cousin in Birmingham. Drive down to Tuscaloosa. I have a cousin in Birmingham? Yeah. Who? Uncle Eston. We don't know him. Yes, I do. You know his son? I know him. He actually, when he was, uh, when we were at Lacta in the Secure Fish Academy, he was the one of my classes. He was in the Army. And he got out and got out there from the Blue Service. And uh, he was in Secure Police. And he came over for uh, six weeks of training at Secure Police Academy. Okay. And we, we stay in touch and stuff like that. He's, Uncle Ed is the only uncle that you have living on your grandson. He's passed. There's eight of them, just like in your mom's family. Yep, eight. Uh, and yours had half as many. Something like that. <laughs> that would be four. Yeah. Half of eight. Two is brothers four. and a sister. That's four. So now it's just two of us, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, Carolyn, if you're listening, make sure you download it. I told you the other day how to download it. Yeah, she never got back. She sent that, asked that question on Facebook, and I sent her multiple ways to. To get the show, hopefully she got it. And then you spread out for the rest of the cousins around there. And Can you believe that? Our own family doesn't even listen to our own podcast. Mackenzie, I know I know high. Mackenzie <laughs> hasn't listened. I think Brenda's finally listened to a lesson. Oh, did she? Yeah, I Has think mom, mom listened the other day. Mom listened? Yeah. She didn't say anything. Just <laughs> <laughs> but those are fun things. I, I'm, I'm glad you sent this list so the next time... The, We'll make us up. Might have to do some more homework, huh? Well, I did my homework. I know, I didn't. I'm, I'm slacking. Uh, I, I see you as seen on TV. Yeah. What TV shows are you watching right now? Uh, what are your mom wants to watch? That doesn't sound like fun. Yeah, it is. If your mom wants to watch it, it's fun. Well, Sunday nights we got our, our show. We watch uh, So Help Me Tie. That's a new, like a comedy type thing. It's a, a mother and a He's a lawyer and her son. You know, you don't have to wait for the shows to come out on that day. You can watch them online. You can watch them on demand. You know that, right? Yeah, it's more to watch them on the same day, right, where we have our routines. But you can, you can, you know there's technology out there. Like tonight, usually we watch uh, New York East. That's a new one. We watch that one. And then uh, there's a couple others. You watch old people shows, Dad. We are old. But even when you weren't old, you still watched old people shows. That's because they were good. When they were... Like Murder, She Wrote. That was for old people. Still good. Even though she's dead now. Well, yeah. Why'd you have to make a bummer out of it? <laughs> she's dead now. Still good to watch. No. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, Brenda and I have been, believe it or not, there's uh, this uh, app that we have downloaded on Amazon TV called BritBox, which has a lot of, well, it's nothing but BBC shows. We've been watching a lot of British network television episodes. A lot, they watch a lot of cop shows. And let me tell you about him and his mom while ago at the Mad Packer. What about it? How about the menu? Oh, yeah. Mom sits down and she's like, where's the menu? And I'm like, it's right here. You have to use your camera to scan it. She's like, what? <laughs> so you bring it up for her. I had, to, I had to get her to open up her phone. I said, Mom, open up your camera. She goes, do I have to open up the phone for that? <laughs> I'm like, oh, Lord, have mercy, people. So now you know why we watch old shows. If you got older parents, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but if you don't, you will, have. you will know what I'm talking about. Because having older parents is a lot like having three and four year olds. You got to show them, help them. They're, they need a lot of corralling. Well, that's what we did with your, your granny and your papa. And they said the same thing about us as, we, as you're saying about us now. But you needed a lot of help. You still need a lot of help. <laughs> yeah, I do. You need a lot of help. <laughs> How's the mule bite the corn? Well, watch it, folks. I'll fix that slap the crap out of it. I'll leave my knees on. They're already bony. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we've been watching a lot of Brit Box, uh, a show called Shetland, based on. It's a cop show set on the Shetland Islands oh, okay. off of the coast of. Scotland. Scotland. Pretty close. Pretty close. Yeah. So, yeah, we've been watching a lot of those shows. Um, maybe we'll watch a movie on Netflix. Um, a buddy of mine has some movies on Plex. It's a media server that he has set up at his house that he uploads movies on. Don't watch a lot of... I watch maybe movies on HBO... We watch. Oh, believe it or not, this is this is my secret favorite show to watch, The Real Housewives. No. Yes, sir. I do. I like The Real Housewives of New York, The Real Housewives of New Jersey. My wife got me into Beverly Hills. Um, not so much Orange County. I'll watch a little bit of it, but uh, my daughter and Brenda have started watching Salt Lake City. I'm shocked. I do like The Real Housewives shows. Those. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think we're okay. No threats found. No threats found. So thank God Trend Micro popped up and gave us a thumbs up, a right? thumbs up while yeah. we're trying to record a podcast. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Man, we're at 23 minutes. Yeah. Time goes by well, fast right. when, you, when you don't talk about anything. Yep. Yeah. But it, it feels good to have a, a freer thing to just, you know, just be us. You know, father and son sharing stories and so next time I tell you what I want to talk about so you can research it so we can be better prepared. Research uh, what? I list. I don't think I, let me see, quote of the day, you can do a whole podcast on that? Sure. Definitely, we need to start figuring out how to do some uh, interviews and who we want to interview and who would who would want to interview. Sure, with that's us. Lit. I, I did already. I showed them. See? Now did he give me the list? Turn the page. Turn the page. This is when you know your son thinks you're not too smart. He breaks it down. Each category. What each category should be about. Like, I didn't do that. The first I... pad count podcast is the most obvious. Podcast be something that you find enjoyable. Like I said, and that's what I said. But like I said, our podcast came about because you and I would go out and do things, and then humorously I would say, "Hey, the two old farts were here, were there." But we don't get out of us together. We don't, but we do. But it's not like every week we're doing something. Right. So yeah, that's probably. And I would also say, because we haven't been very consistent about posting. Yes. We, we, we've been having a lot of technology issues, which is why you've been seeing us both together. We haven't tried to troubleshoot it because, again, dealing with old folks, trying to troubleshoot things from afar. But I want you to think about this. We were at my house, and we were on my laptop. We were doing okay except that one time. 
But when you're at home, and I'm home, we have issues. I think I just said that. I think why? I, I think so I just. Why is that? I think I just said maybe. That. You, maybe I'm a better looking over you too. Maybe I'm a smarter. Well, it is maybe. It's not true. Smarter of the two of them. No, you're not the smarter or the better look. <laughs> but there is a technology issue that we did not have up until this summer. I know, that's strange, huh? We, we're episode we're fine. And then I, maybe it's a software download issue that on one of our computers. Because I could hear you, but you couldn't hear me. And the last time we tried it, I could hear you, but you couldn't hear me. But, you know, thinking about that, this didn't start until I upgraded my laptop. So I think you just contradicted yourself because it sounds like it's on your end now, doesn't it? Because we didn't have this problem until I did my laptop. I'm upgraded and you're not upgraded, so the problem is on you. No, I am upgraded. <laughs> nice trial, man. Uh, nice trial. No. But yeah, the, yeah, we got a concert in two weeks. There's there's maybe one or two breweries we can check out here in town, but we need to hit the road too. Maybe we can yeah. drag mom with us. We need to get out to Lotus. We need to get, hit the road. We need to get out to. Uh, what do we need to see in the Lotus that we haven't seen? Well, that's a good place to eat out there. There are. That's a good place to drink. What's that other little town just out down the road from the Lotus? Bandera. Bandera. Then we need to get back up in the hill country. That is the hill country, Dad. That's the beginning of the hill country. But it's still the hill country. Yeah. We're at the beginning of the hill country. You know, sometimes I look at my backyard, I think I'm in the hill country when I get all the dirt piled up. I hear you. Yeah. All the back fence picked up. Yeah, we both had new fences put up this yeah, year, didn't we? Looked good, except for all the, where the nails ran. I don't I don't understand that, because I bought galvanized nails. But like in, yeah, did you yeah. buy galvanized nails? Yeah, I did. It said it. But yeah, it said on the box galvanized. Yes, I was going to say, but did you buy them? So, Guy that did, I wanted him to use screws because to me it's easier. You know, when you got to face a piece of pick and fence, something, you just unscrew it. And now you got it with the nails, you got to hope it. You it's hard to get good help these days, isn't it? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> but uh, looks better, huh? It does. Yeah. I can't believe we're on the verge of November of I this know. year. This Winter's just right around the corner. Right around the corner. Fo- college football is almost over, too. Oh, oh, man. we got just a little over a month left of football. i got to give a shout-out to a friend of mine. She's a friend, and she's a nurse that works for the doctor when I go get my back injections. She's a big Tennessee fan. They have those? They have fans oh, that yeah. are t- she, Tennessee fans? She calls me Graham, and I call her Tennessee. They, they put on a good game yesterday. And when they beat us. We beat ourselves. But they, they won that game, rightfully so. They did. But we didn't take advantage of the opportunities when we had. No, we did not. But I'm going to tell you, Tennessee looking good this year. But I got to give a shout out to her. But I'll be seeing her when we got to next put my injections in my back. But you won't be able to talk trash because we lost to them. Yeah, I talk trash. She talks trash back. Yeah, but we can. We lost. Because I'll tell us it'll be another 16 years, so enjoy it while you can. <laughs> I did see a funny little meme about after Tennessee beat us. It's like every team that beats Alabama, they storm the field, tear down the goalpost. But if we beat you, it's just another Saturday. <laughs> exactly. That's the way it is. But I tell you what, watching us struggle the last couple of games, I'm beginning to realize what it feels like to be a fan of every other college football team. I've never felt this before. <laughs> it's like, it's fear. Like, we could actually lose a game. But you know what I loved about those games? It was a real football game. Oh, yeah. I, I really definitely. don't like a game that's 40, 50, like Kansas State. Who was that team that blew out 48? Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State. Yeah. yeah, they beat the brakes off of them. Yeah. I, and I, nobody I, picked Kansas State yesterday. They yeah. all picked Oklahoma State. Yeah. But I, I like the close ball games. I mean, I like football. You, know, I I went to college, you know, I went to college at K-State, right? When mm-hmm. I was stationed up there. I, actually, when I was watching that game, part of it in between yesterday, I saw a lot of the military guys. Yeah. Uh, people that was at the game and stuff. Fort like Riley's right down the street. Yeah. So I like, I like Kansas State. Uh, I can't remember the coach now, uh, Bill Snyder. I always, he was one of my favorite coaches. 
Uh, somebody at the game said he should have been the coach of the century. He turned a program around that was on the verge of going down to Division II. Yep. And just continuously won. And found a way to win. Yep. He's a good coach. He's like uh, this guy from uh, Texas A&M that played, that coached at Alabama, won in 1992. Gene Stallings? Uh, college World Series. I just bought a T-shirt. 1992 National Championships. Well, we were talking about Gene Stallings, right? Yeah, Gene okay. Stallings. He was at the Alabama game this last week. He was? Yeah. Okay. So, well, you know he didn't play yesterday, right? Right. Okay. He's my second favorite coach. Behind Bear Bryant. Behind Bear Bryant. And then and and Nick Saban. And Nick Saban. Yeah. Nick's super guy. He is. His wife is coach there. Yeah. And there's a lot of coaches out there. Yeah, there are. Dabo Sweeney is another great coach. Yes, he is. France from Iowa. Iowa. Yeah, Dennis Franz. State coach. I think it's, is it Dennis Franz? Uh-huh. Or am I thinking of the actor Dennis Franz? Maybe I'm thinking about that. But uh, there's a lot of great coaches. There are a lot of great coaches. Uh, I like uh, Ryan from uh, Ohio State. I think he's a good coach. Ryan Day. Ryan Day. Yeah, yeah, he's a real good coach. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I measure coaches by the way they handle the Yes, because to me, they're 18, 22, 23, 20. But from a football sense, they're still kids, even though they are adults. They get into the game and stuff like that. Matt Brown is looking like he's enjoying yes, he himself is. lately. He's having fun. And he's got those guys winning. Yeah, he does. And you, you can see it. Now, I'll tell you who else is one of my favorite coaches. What's this guy's name? They said uh, UTSA? Jeff Trainer. Yeah. It's no trainer, I think. I don't think it's trailer. I think it's trainer. Let me let me look. I Keep talking. That, I love that guy. He just he gets by into what he's saying, and he's taking. They had a bye week too, just yeah. like we did. And of course, you got to give Frank Harris credit. He's the one that actually put this team together because this is trailer's third year. With the UTSA. I was wrong. It is Jeff Trailer. I was wrong. We just got to make sure we keep that UTSA. He won't be. He won't be long for that program. He talks and bullshit walks, right? And that's the problem with a lot of these programs is they try to come up and they get a good coach that turns the program around and gets them some notoriety. Along comes Nick Saban and pulls them, or Ohio State, or you know what I'm saying? They the big programs come and they they take these guys that are building these programs. And the other thing, too, is sad is you get a new coach. They yeah, start all play. over. They don't give a chance. Just like Auburn, I hate, this. I hate to say that word. I know. But I like the coach there. But they're ready to fire him. I know. You know he, but it's his he's, first year. He's trying to build a program. It takes time. You know, to, uh, these young boys that was you got to buy another culture. Now you got a different philosophy. It takes time to turn it around. It does. You know? I get to they'll be up to Alabama. Yeah, yeah, they will. In the season. We'll take a look at the clock, old man. What's that say? Oh, wow. 33 minutes already. I know. What does Aunt Carolyn say? One of the last things I'm going to say for Aunt Carolyn to kick us off. What's that? What did we used to do a long time ago? Where did we get barbecue from? Oh, Dreamland. Yeah, we're going to have to order that again. Yeah, I think so. Maybe this year might be a good year to order Dreamland. I don't know. I'm not feeling good about this year. Hey, it's the game. It is a game, but I ain't feeling good this it's year. It's all about the history. I'm not happy with Bill O'Brien. And I'm not happy with Pete Golding. I'm not. The coach is not going to let him get out of there. Anyway. He, he, he'll put his clamp on it. I hope so. But anyway, that's what I like to talk about. I, I, I know I, you like talking about college football I, and sports. I like, I like sports, period. I, I, I like seeing these young Kids playing softball, baseball, soccer, whatever it is. Okay. And going back, and I have a lot of pictures there. I go back and see you and your sister back when y'all were doing things in elementary school and high school. Okay. I go out in my shed every now and then. I look at some of that Miami Dolphins stuff (laughs) and think about that. So that's, that's one of the things I like to do. Okay. 
Well, let's wrap it up, old man, before we go into 35 minutes, which, up, oh, we just hit 35 minutes. Yeah. And you ask if we call them, they give me a... I know. But that's okay. And guess what I haven't noticed? What's that? Still no downloads from Georgia. All right, Carol, you said you were going to download. We still get downloads from California. I didn't think them damn dirty hippies would listen to some country yeah, boys. You got a lot of cousins out there. I, that could be. Maybe that's who's downloading it. My cousins. <laughs> my cousins, rather. But hey, you damn dirty hippies from California, give us a listen. There you go. Spread the word. Let us know what you think. We love you guys, too. All right, everybody. Go Take care. Have a good one. All right. Go, hey. go to bed. Pecker and have something. If you live in this, this Harrison's that's area a, out here. That's a street. That's yeah. Harrison. Runs into Timber Path. Right. That runs into Gilbo. Gilbo. That runs into where the man Packers at, right? Something like that. Something like that. Hey, happy Halloween. Have a good one. Have fun. All right. Y'all be safe out there.